Second question on roots um, starts off standard again. So uh, sum of alpha means if the roots are alpha, beta, gamma, sum of alpha, beta, gamma, and that's just minus b over a. So that's negative 4 over 2, negative 2. Sum of the roots in pairs is c over a. So it's negative 3 over 2. And then alpha, beta, gamma is negative d over a, which is negative a half. Right, then b. So we want to find some new cubic equations with the roots listed. Um, there's going to be a couple of different ways to do this. It depends on the question, what we've been to ask out, what's easiest. Um, so if um, for the first one, our new roots have all been multiplied by 2. So they've been stretched in the x direction, scale factor 2. Okay, so that means if you think about your transformations, we want to replace x with x over 2. You can also use this method by saying that y equals 2x. So the new root is 2 times the old root, as you can see. Okay, so um, x equals y over 2. So again, this is the substitution we'll be using. So the main thing to be careful is make sure you put some brackets in. Otherwise, you'll forget um, to cube and square the whole thing. So because we'll do y over 2 all squared. And same with the cubed. There we go. The other method is to look at what happens to the sum, the sum in pairs, and the products of the roots. So The new sum is 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma. So that's the same 2 times alpha plus beta plus gamma. So we already know what alpha plus beta plus gamma is over here. So that's 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. Then we want the sum in pairs. Okay, um, so the sum in pairs would be 2 alpha times 2 beta plus, I'm not using the one notation just so you don't get confused with um, the original roots and the new ones. Um, then, oops. Okay, right, and then we want 2 alpha times 2 gamma and 2 beta times 2 gamma. So 4 alpha beta plus 4 alpha gamma plus 4 beta gamma. That's 4 times the sum of the old roots in pairs. So that's 4. Remember we've got that here. So 4 times negative 3 over 2, which is negative 6. Okay. And the last thing is to do the product of the new roots. So 2 alpha times 2 beta times 2 gamma. So that's 8 alpha beta gamma. And again, we know what alpha beta gamma is. So that's 8 times negative a half. Which is negative 4. All right. Then I'm just going to take these three things that we've worked out um, and write them in a new equation. So remember this is negative b over a, this is c over a, and this is negative d over a. So if I put that all together, I get x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0, which is exactly the same as we got using the other method. B part 
two similarly there's two methods uh, it says all the roots have been scaled linearly or you can say new root equals three times the old root minus two so y equals three x take away two y plus two over three equals x so this is what we need to substitute Alternatively, you can do the sum, the sum in pairs and the product of the new roots again. Uh, so sum 3 alpha minus 2 plus 3, oops, beta minus 2. Yeah, that one's not too tricky, so that's 3 alpha plus beta plus gamma minus 6. So that's 3 times negative 2 take away 6 negative 12 and we do the sum in pairs And then finally, we'll do the product of all of them. And then we use our facts again. So sum is minus b over a. Sum of the pairs is c over a. Product is minus d over a. Put those three things together. And we're going to get x cubed plus 12x squared plus 45 over 2x plus 37 over 2 equals 0 and if you just multiply through by 2 you can see that those two things are the same.